Hey, how do you like my glasses? <laughs> yeah, a little bit different today, okay, with my glasses on, you know, and the uh, location and all that. What do you think? You think I look better with my glasses, huh? Let me know, okay? All right. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, please you know, try and subscribe, that would be great and if you're loving the content, give it a thumbs up and please comment as well so that the, when you subscribe, of course, you'll be getting notifications anytime the video drops like this one right now. Today, we will be talking about why we cheat. Easy, right? No, it's not. Cheating is not really easy at all. And when you're involved in it, whatever aspect it is, you will understand if you're not understanding already. You know, I got friends, you know, hinting me up and said, hey, why don't we talk about this life situation that just happened recently in Nigeria where a wife actually was in pursuit. She was driving behind her husband to catch him with his, uh, should I say, side chick? Yeah, I think most of you must have heard that story where the... Uh, uh, the wife was suspected the husband to be cheating to you know having an affair outside the uh, marriage and this fateful day she tried to follow up to pursue the husband or maybe to know where they were going or to catch him red-handed because there was a lady sitting beside him and maybe it was the alleged suspecting uh, lady that was cheating with the husband so she went on and uh, in this case unfortunately she had an accident in the process and in fact uh, she died in the process so my question is that it's been thrown out there is if it's really worth it if you suspect your spouse cheating and you want to play the james bond move and you know try to go and catch him or her red-handed and does it i mean can you go ahead and do all of that even when it is risky and it involves even your life all right so because I mean, now we don't know the background of the story. For uh, I don't. I don't know if you guys do. You can comment and leave your comment on there to you know, give me more information. But what we heard, I don't know the background to lead into that situation. At the same time, it got so bad that she had to do all of that. But unfortunately, uh, like I said, you know, she lost her life in the process as the wife. Now, whether that was what the husband planned or it just happened, we don't know. I don't know the backstory of it. She could be in a situation where she never suspected the husband until that time or she has been and it has been a problem in the relationship and all of that, but she lost her life. So the question out there is, for you, do you think it's wiser to rather ask a special investigator if you really want to know or you take it out on yourself to make do the investigation and uh, put your life at risk? Is it worth it? To me, I don't think it is, you know, for a whole lot of reasons. I mean, if you are the person that is directly affected, you don't want to see you put yourself using emotions. Anytime we use emotions to respond to a situation, for the most part, it doesn't really come out the way it should. If you are emotional in it, it, you know, there will be a lot of sentiments involved. There will be a lot of passion and sometimes in a negative way you know and uh, you know you, you, you can stand the chance of risking a lot of things that you, out there it's better you put a neutral body there that's my take and you get it done if you think it's worth it i've seen situations where the couple have an understanding to that yeah they have an understanding uh, i think they call it open marriage <laughs> okay <laughs> what are we doing self and in some situations there's no understanding the spouse, uh, you know, they want only you for themselves, which is, of course, the normal thing. But sometimes it doesn't work out like that, you know. And uh, But still, even at that, you don't want to put yourself where you now risk your life just to catch the person, so to say. Or, you know, yeah, to make sure that uh, you, you put your point out there. So to me, I don't think it's worth it. When you understand the fact that that is a problem in your relationship, you look for means necessary to to you know get it to work out for you so that you can live in peace really because that is what we all want to be in peace you you don't want to put too much pressure on yourself even when you suspect that your spouse did on you and and again it make it's even worse in some situations where the spouse you put it on your face uh, you know they have heard of situations where the husband doesn't care if the wife knows so it's just marriage on paper the wife is aware that he's cheating and i mean he just he doesn't give a, a damn about it and even if it's the wife cheating the husband knows and he doesn't care i mean uh I, you know it's that bad 
But again, in that situation, one of them have an understanding. But if you don't have an understanding, I don't think, on my view, you should put your life at risk. In this situation, that's what happened. And now, apart from that, let's even look at it the way humans are. It's, it could be arguable when I say, okay, why do we cheat, generally? In business, in friendship, in anything. You're okay, why do we cheat in the first place? Is it the way of life? Because this, again, you know, undermines the value of relationship when it comes to trusting and being sincere to one another, I mean, which are always the principles we talk about. A lot of us cheat for most nine over 10 of it, selfish reason, because of self. But you see, it doesn't all go well when it comes to relationship, talking about trusting. And that cuts across every part of our life. So we should have a situation where I can trust you, you can trust me. And by, we do, by doing that, you won't cheat for the most part. So when all those principles are not on guard, yeah, you expect to be cheated on or be, or you, you cheat on someone in some ways. It might not be even in your tongue where you deny, you, you know, you say things you can't say in front of the person. All those are all aspects of, you know, doing wrong it comes to cheating. So cheating to me generally is agreeable a way of life. In that situation, you don't see yourself being your best person. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, self? So I think at some point, we should just look ourselves in the mirror and say, you are talking about cheating. How about you talking? Before you accuse someone out there of anything, you have to have a retrospective of who you are as a person towards your fellow man or woman, as the case may be. All right? So I just think cheating, it's not good, whichever way you look at it. But somebody says it's a way of life. What do you say? Is it a way of life to cheat? Not just in your relationship. In fact, life has buzz around relationship. So let me make it a bit personal. Not just in your marriage, but in friendship. All right? Why do we... You, we can't do without cheating. When you see an opportunity, you say something today, you say another thing tomorrow. What is the difference between you and anybody else? <laughs> what are we doing, Seth? So again, hey... Let's do it right. Let's make it right. Let's try and see how we can be better in everything that we do, in the way we think, in the way we share, in the way we relate to one another. So that all these little vices that creeps on into our personality will not be there. There's no point being a, a leader or a pastor or whatever you are. You say something today and the next, when you close the door, you do something else or you are something else. That's cheating too. You're deceiving people and you think you are you know, trying to show that you love them, but you actually love yourself. So one of the solutions is just flee. You know, in the Bible, it says flee. <laughs> you just go. Don't look back at where you're going. Just don't allow yourself to indulge in what you know will be wrong. All right? I know it's easier said. Yeah, I, it, uh, yeah it, this cuts across everybody, including myself. So, hey, but, uh, you know, those are just, the, there's no other way. Just flee, all right? And the other one, of course, I mean, get busy. Do stuff that will give you more value. You don't have time for, I'm not saying you wouldn't play, but play right, okay? You don't want to put yourself again in that uh, awkward situation. And the third one, again, is put your foot down. When your no is no, that's it. Your yes is yes, your no is no, all right? So you just read the Bible, flee for the most, just flee. Just walk away. It's okay to say no, and you'll be fine, all right? and uh, get busy. I don't mind, you know what they say about it, all right? So, it's easy I said, like I said, but it's very, very possible, okay? So, yeah, let's hear what you have to say on this. Is this just a quick addition? I said I should just drop this there. Why do we cheat? Is it okay to cheat? You tell me, all right? Okay, we talk soon, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up for those who have. If you haven't, please do. That would be great. I'll drop another one real soon. And if you want to know more about the principles, check out my other videos. You will see about it, how we can just get better in everything that we do in life. All right? All right, guys. Talk to you soon. But always remember, do unto others what you want others to do for you. Don't cheat. Bye-bye.